welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back and watching this video is going to be um about some of my new products that i just bought from sephora um i think i told you guys i want to switch up my routine so i just got a couple of new products that i wanted to try that i've been wanting to try um and i'm gonna add that you know incorporate it into my valentine's day series so i'm gonna show you guys what i got i'm not gonna talk throughout this video because i have a sore throat and i kind of lost my voice so i'm just gonna show you guys what i got um the video is gonna be a voiceover for the most part and then at the end when i'm done with my face i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna talk to you guys about the products and how i like them or if i don't like them okay i'm hot so i went to sephora the other day i picked up a couple of things um i got this is my first thing that i picked up i had two this is the anastasia and um resi palette um i've been wanting to try this ever since she posted it and i was like i have to get it so i went to sephora and i definitely had to pick this up the colors are beautiful and amazing and i'm gonna show you guys if I can get it open, shut this side. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. It's very pretty. It's my type of palette. It's sparkly and it's pink. So um, these are the colors. Let me take this plastic. She actually has um, more colors in her palette than the regular palettes. So the regular palettes, I'm looking at the Sultry. She has 14 Anastasia. And then um, Resi's palette has 16 shades. So it's a little bit bigger. Um, these are what the shades look like. I hope you guys can see. I really hope you guys can see. The shades are beautiful. I'm definitely going to work with this palette today. Um, there's a couple of pinks in here that I want to try. I'm not sure what look I'm going to do just yet. Um, but I'm definitely going to use this. So this is the first thing I picked up. I also got a beauty blender. This is the original beauty blender. I haven't used these in a while. Um, simply because I just got, you know, the real techniques. And I have another one. I forgot where it's from. But um, this is the original beauty blender. I used to use these when I started off doing makeup. And I just stopped because I found a cheaper option. But these are always really good. So I just picked one up. Why not? The next thing I got is Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation and this is her new foundation guys um I went to Sephora and I was really sad to find out that they discontinued the foundation stick because that was one of my babies so I was really sad but um this is um it's been having some good reviews I just wanted to try it for myself it's vegan Gluten-free, alcohol-free, clinically tested, dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, um, and it's good for sensitive skin, and it says long wearing and no flashback. So we're going to try this. I got the color 440C. It's a cool color. Um, so hopefully this matches my skin because... I'm really iffy with foundation. It's just such an annoying process to find new foundations. And I'm not here for it. So hopefully this works out for me. So this is the second thing I got. Then I got... um, This is a Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint. I already have the red one, which is uncensored. So this one I got is like a pinkish, mauve color it's very pretty um i wanted to get the nude one but it was a little bit too dark for me so i just went for this one i may use this today i'm not too sure it's really cute though i might use this today just because we're in the valentine's day spirit so i got that um let's see what else I got this Fenty Concealer because I also heard that this is really good. 
um and it's very um full coverage which i love in a concealer so i'm definitely going to try this today open it for you guys and this is the color 330 i looked at a few and this is the one that i came up with to try out Let's see. I'm telling you guys i don't like getting new stuff i like to stick to my routine then i got this um fancy gloss bomb is that what it's called yeah fancy gloss bomb this is the color sweet mouth i tried it on in the store on my hands and i was in love okay people this is my type of lip gloss it's pink it's glossy and it's sparkly so i had to get this and um i'm definitely gonna use this today so that was that the last thing i got from this bag is this violet boss vibes palette so i've been wanting some color in my kit forever and i'm really not good with buying new things i just don't like i use what i have type of girl so i had to get this i saw it in the store and i was like oh my god it's perfect so um i haven't heard of this but i swatch the colors and they're beautiful they're nice and pigmented it's a pressed pigment palette so um it better be pigmented the fuck? so i'm gonna open it and show you guys the colors i also might use this today like i said i don't know what look i'm gonna do yet um so i might use both palettes today so this is what the inside looks like it has basically the full rainbow, the whole color, all the colors of the rainbow. And I'm so excited, you guys, because I wanted color in my kit for so long, like forever. And this just fell perfectly into my hands. Like we have like a pinkish, we have like a pinkish red, we have an orange orangish red and then we have an orange and then we have a yellow we have a neon green we have a neon pink we have two purples and two blues which is absolutely perfect um especially if you're a beginner and this palette was pretty cheap um let me i'm gonna i'm gonna let you know how much it costs it was 30 dollars, so that's pretty good so we're gonna get into this video like I said, it's going to be a voiceover because I have a sore throat and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so I'm just going to go straight into the eyeshadow. So I'm taking the Vibes palette from Violet Voss and I am just using the color Boombox, which is the pink shade. And I am blending that out into the top of my eye. That is going to be my transition shade. Okay, so here you see me going in with that purple shade from the palette, and that one is called Radical, and um, I'm using a different brush, and it's going into my crease.
so now that I see that everything is looking good and blended I'm going to start my cut crease so here you just see me applying my concealer you guys can use any light concealer that you have I recommend using the lightest one you have um, this wasn't the lightest but it was what I picked up um, this is my Maybelline fit me concealer you guys can use whatever concealer you like um, this is just what I happen to have next to me so that's what I used and here I'm just adding some more um, I kind of like to add as I go because it's way easier to move around and have a sharper cut crease when the concealer is wet as opposed to it being dried up it's a little bit more harder to spread So now you see me packing on that yellow color. It's called Neon. It's from the same palette. Um, I'm just packing this on and I'm going to spread that out towards the middle.
Now I'm taking the pink color. It's the same one that I used for my transition shade, Boombox. And I'm just putting that a little bit towards the other side of the yellow and I'm blending those two colors together. Now I'm taking the orange shade in the palette and that color is called Leg Warmers. Um, same thing I did with the pink, I'm blending it on the outside of the pink and blending the colors together. Now I'm taking the same purple shade that I used in my crease, Radical, and I'm blending that together with all um, the colors towards the end and I'm making everything fade into each other. Now I'm drawing some hearts. Um, this is where the Valentine's Day comes in. I'm just using a regular white liner that I got from the beauty supply store. It's not really good quality, but um, I'm making it work. So I'm drawing some hearts and I'm going to put some yellow eyeshadow over it once it dries.
Now I am packing the yellow onto the heart. You'll see me switch brushes because it got a little bit difficult to pack the yellow on the smaller hearts with the big brush. Now I'm doing my eyeliner. I'm not doing a wing. I'm just lining the top of my eyes. And then after that, I'm going to put my eyelashes on and then I'm going to start with my face. Now I'm taking my Anastasia foundation, I'm just pumping that on my face and then I'm going to take a foundation brush and blend it out. Here I'm adding more foundation because I wanted to see how it builds up and I also wanted more coverage so that's why I added more. Now I'm taking my Fenty concealer, um, concealing and highlighting. I highlight under my eyes, my chin, my nose, and my forehead, and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Now 
Now I'm just blending that out. Now I am taking my Airspun Loose Face Powder and I am setting my concealer. I'm just putting it in all the areas that I concealed my face and I'm patting it in. So this is a product I haven't used in a while. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. Um, I'm taking the middle shade, um, just contouring my face, my nose, my forehead, and my cheeks. Now I'm just taking this slanted contour brush and blending it out. I always go back and forth between my brush and my beauty blender because it helps get rid of those harsh lines and it makes it blend together nicely. Now I'm taking my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder and that is the color Kunafa. I'm just setting my foundation underneath my contour. The reason why I don't use the airspun is because it's too light. So the Kunafa has a yellow tone, which is why I use that. Now I'm just adding some color to my under eye. It's the pink shade from the same Violet Voss palette. And I'm also gonna go in with the purple after that. Now I'm setting my contour. I'm using the NYX Hydra Touch Powder Foundation, just setting the areas that I did the cream contour. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm highlighting my face. I'm going into the Anastasia and I'm Resi palette and I'm using the color Anastasia. You guys will see me highlight my face with eyeshadow a lot on my channel. It's just something I like to do. I don't know. Now going back into that um, Resi palette, I'm using the color Cupcake and I'm going to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. Now I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio and this is Pink Passion. I'm using the darkest shade and the middle shade just to add some pink tones to my face. I always use the blush um, on my cheeks, on my nose, my chin, and my forehead. I use it to blend the contour and the highlight together. Now I'm lining my lips to prepare for my lipstick. You guys are going to see that I put the Fenty on my lips and I didn't end up liking it because it was too dark. So what I did after is I just used it kind of like a lip liner and then I just put some concealer. I put a really light concealer in the middle of my lips and that worked out perfectly with this look. Now I'm just taking my airspun powder and I'm setting the concealer that's on my lips. This is just going to make it matte so that it's not moving around. And then my look is complete. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. And um, like I promised you guys at the beginning of the video, I told you I was going to review the products that I used today. So, um, I'm just going to start because my voice is really messed up now. So, I'm just going to get into it and try to do it as quick as possible. So, the first product that I got that I showed you guys was the Umrezi palette. <clears throat> it was really nice. Um, I actually ended up not using this palette today. I used one color and that was for um, my inner corners. And I'm going to show you guys which color I use. So I just used this color right here. Cupcake. The pinkish glitter color. So I am definitely going to be using this palette for my Valentine's series. I'll probably use it in my next video. 
but that was the first thing i bought um it's a really nice palette i love the glitters in this palette um she did a really good job with this and I'm really excited to see the looks that I'll be creating with this palette. So, um, I thought I was going to use it, but I actually got caught up in the other palette that I bought, which I'm going to show you guys now. The next thing I bought was this Vibes palette. This is a Violet Voss palette, and I told you guys in the beginning of the video that I needed some color in my makeup kit because I had absolutely none. So this palette right here is absolutely amazing. I don't have any complaints about this palette. Um, I used the whole thing. Um, I'm sorry, I used this palette only for my eyes today. Um, this is what it looks like. So I used this pink color right here. Um, I used this purple, I used orange, and I used yellow. The colors are beautiful. They're very pigmented. Um, I have no complaints. This is just a beautiful palette, and I can't wait to see the looks that I'll be creating with this. This was definitely a great buy. It was $30 in Sephora. You guys, if you are a beginner, or even if you just don't have color and you want to start off with something simple, this right here is the way to go, okay? So, the next thing I got was this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation. This is her new foundation. Um, I think she just dropped it not too long ago. My color is 440C. This foundation works perfectly with my skin. Um, it looks like this. It is a pump, which I love because um, the Maybelline that I use is not. And it gets very messy. So I'm happy that it has a pump. Um, it blends it out very well. And like I said, it worked very well with my skin tone, which I was really concerned about because um, I am used to one foundation. So I, I was really happy with the results. Um, I really don't have any complaints about this foundation. It's like full, it's like medium full coverage. You can definitely build it up if you want a full, full coverage. Um, it was perfect for me. The next thing I got is this Fenty Stunner Lip Paint. So I started off using it. Um, I started off using it in this video at the end, but then I didn't like how dark it was with the look. So um, I ended up changing my lip, but the color is beautiful. What I actually did was I used this color on the outside like a lip liner and then I put some lighter concealer in the middle. So that's how I got this pinkish looking kind of thing. Um, and to make it matte, I set it with my airspun powder. So that's how I got this lip. But I definitely used this on the outside. Um, you guys saw in the video that I ended up taking it off. So I love it. It just didn't go with this look. The next thing I got was this Fenty Gloss Balm. Um, the color Sweet Mouth. The reason why I didn't use this is because I wanted a matte lip after I um, took off the Stun Up Lip Paint. So I started off using this and then I took it off. But it's a really nice color and I'll probably use this in my next video as well. So that was a good buy, definitely. And then the last thing I bought... The best thing I bought was this Fenty Concealer. If you don't have this in your kit, you need to get it right now. Because I don't know what I was waiting for, but this concealer is amazing. Um, I was scared in the beginning that it was going to be too light. I'm sorry, too dark. I was scared that it was going to be too dark. But it actually matched my skin perfectly for my highlight and i was so happy when i started blending out like it was just amazing <coughs> so this is the color 330 
um i did compare it to fawn in the beginning of the video it is lighter than fawn and it's actually my perfect highlight and i will definitely be using this way more in the future because i love it and it's nice and matte and it blended out perfectly with my anastasia foundation um i never bought the fancy foundation just because um a lot of people say like it's matte and i like a mixture of matte and dewy this um anastasia foundation is not really very matte it's kind of dewy so that was worked perfectly with the um fancy concealer so those were my buys um i love this palette i just feel like this look came out amazing and i'm really happy that i bought the things that i did and i'm so happy because um i needed some new stuff in my kit like i was getting tired of the same old stuff and it's really hard for me to it's really hard for me to try new things i'm the type of girl where I like something and I don't want to change it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But definitely, um, I would definitely say if you are looking for some color in your life, in your makeup kit, get this palette. It's a pressed pigment palette. Um, so you probably do have to be a little bit more advanced to work with these colors. But um, they're beautiful. And I'm so happy that I bought this as my first you know color palette because it's giving me a chance to experiment and as you guys can see it's beautiful so this is my finished look thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe because like i told you before i have so much more in store for you guys and i can't wait for you to see it just stay tuned for my next valentine's day video and again, thank you for watching and I'm out.